study. How many of you get those stupid questions? Well, if I rank number two versus three, how many more clicks am I going to get? Right? Um, this is how you answer that question. Just send them a report with a lot of pages so then they stop asking you. But this is actually the best report on click-through rates that I have seen in 13 years. Because most reports about click-through rate, guess what they do, guys? They keep in branded search. How many of you searched for the word Affiliate Summit and clicked on the Affiliate Summit as the first link, right? What does that do to typical click-through rates? When I search for Nike, usually looking for Nike, right? I click on the first listing. So think about it, guys. How many of you have been looking at these click-through rate studies, trying to figure out a way to say, oh, I get 20% at this, and 2% at this, and I hear that this is worth 15 times more than that. You're not even thinking about the fact that branded search, hello, most of us are searching for branded, you know, a lot of us are searching for brands. I think something like 30, 40% of searches on the internet are related to brands. Usually we're looking for the brand, click on the branded site. So we, this study stripped all that out, right? which was really smart. So when you strip out all of those branded searches, you're then left with a much more accurate representation of what these rankings and click-through rates look like. Um, I have a link to that in all my links. So again, it's on Twitter. There's just one link there. It has everything. Um, you'll see all the links. So I have the whole report there. So you can print it out and give it to your boss and tell your boss to shut up so you can get back to work and do this stuff. So obviously, I'm more likely to click. Think about what it does. I mean, these are people that I've either spoken with or that I, um, or that I know or that I've read their stuff in the past. That's going to elevate click-through rates. Screw a ranking. The minute Google puts this up, my number one ranking doesn't mean a whole lot anymore. And I'm going to show you some examples of what happens. And I hope to God the ex client of ours isn't in here um, when I show it. So look at this result. See, you guys, were, humans were just, mm, ooh, it's a pretty picture, right? So what happens is, is we look at the result here, and the eye is naturally going to go to the, uh, ooh, Thursday, Monday, Tuesday kind of breakdowns, right? You see the reviews and you love that, right? Ooh, somebody else said it was okay. Don't know who those four people are. It could have been the owner of that business's four friends, but four people said it was better than this, right? So we, so, but we, we look at that and we often skip other results. How do you get there? How do you get to show your data in this way? Because if you notice, there's a site above, all the way at the top there, under MLB, the number two ranking below Major League Baseball for Phillies tickets is TicketWarehouse.com. But you know what? They don't have those links, right? A lot of people are going to skip over them. How do you get there? It's simple. It's called structured data. And that's an hour-long presentation in and of itself. And I won't, I don't have that much time. I could talk for a whole other hour, but I know you guys got other things to do, right? So. Structured data is all about like schema.org. You guys have probably heard about that in micro formats. But the other part is trust. So Google doesn't, just think about it. Google's not showing, you know, these guys, if they structure their data, it's not just going to show up down there all of a sudden. You've also got to cross a threshold. You've got to be in Google's circle of trust. So look at that, guys. I know, I used to, years ago, I worked on the site that's in the number two spot below MLB. So this is like a real, this is like real, like we did that, right? Um, years ago, and they don't have it. They don't have those results, and it's sad because they have a top ranking that we got for them three, four years ago. I haven't touched the site in four years, but they're not taking full advantage of that ranking because they're not doing things to build trust and to get those other little pretty links below it like all their friends are getting. So what's going to happen? People are going to skip over the number two ranking that I got that client below MLB because there's other quality factors here that people go, Boom, August 24th, that's the exact one I wanted to go to. Click versus up here on my listing that I got. Well, I got to click there. I got to find out if it's available or not. I got to try to figure out how to browse their site and where the things are, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I'd just rather click on the 24th, make it really easy. I'd rather be number three in this position, right, if I can't get the trust. So that client's got no structured data, and they've made no investment in building trust. That's what happens when you make an investment in building SEO and then you never add in the trust component. As the search results look more and more like I just showed you, if you don't invest in trust, people are gonna skip over your hard work. 